Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, we're going to take a look at how to build bases in Daisy Expansion. And you're going to want some tools, some, so a knife or something to make it easier to chop bushes up. And some axes, hammers, cloth or rags, some rope, which you can find in industrial. A lot of these you can find in industrial. And uh, yeah, or houses, a lot of these weapons or melee weapons or tools. And some sticks, which to cut a tree up or a bush, just go up to it with your hands. Hold left click on PC to chop. And we've got a long stick and a short stick. Now with the long stick, we can split into three smaller sticks. Now we're going to need these to make our floor and wall plans as well as ramp plans. There we go. We've just made that one long stick into three short sticks. So we've got now four sticks there. So we'll, uh, we'll actually pick that three up there. And we want to make a floor first. So we found our rope in industrial. Bit of looting. And we drag on to combine. You can also just look. And it says there recipe. So we can do a floor kit with a hold of the left click. Or next recipe with a tap. Stair kit. Tap. Ramp kit. Tap. Wall kit. So we want to do a floor kit first for our base. And try and like plan out where our foundation is going to be. So let's craft a floor kit first with our three sticks. And one rope. And there we go. A nice little bundle there with our floor kit. So here comes the really, really good part uh, of getting it out there. So here we go. We've got it and we can place it places. We've got our like, nice transparent skeleton here for the base. You should be able to place this pretty much anywhere. On our server specifically, we've just set some rules with no military because it makes it unfair for people that want to go to military areas like Northwest or Starry Tents that, uh, you know, they can't go there to loot if you've built a massive base there. So avoid military areas is our only rule. But other than that, you can build pretty much anywhere. Unless servers allow you to build at military, then, then there you go. So right now, I will just place this foundation as an example right here. Press and hold left click. And there is our frame. Still a ghost for our, for our foundation there. Let me just tidy this up a little bit. Move that stick away. You're going to need some more resources now to actually build this foundation. So if we go into it there, we'll see materials needed. Uh, it says rope, but it's actually planks, nails, and lumber, I believe, or the other way around. We'll figure that out in a second. So nails are the only thing you're going to have to loot for, which are found in industrials or barns, things like that. And you can find quite a lot of them. They come in packs of 70. So get looting in the industrials for that. But the other components we can get from the woods around us, where we want to build our base. We can cut a tree down. Let's hope this doesn't fall on our foundation. And we should be presented with nothing. Okay, that's the wrong tree. We need a bigger tree. What we want to find is a bigger tree. Here we go. Let's try this one. So we want to chop trees down with our axes to get logs, hopefully, which we can then cut into lumber. There we go. We've got some, uh, some wooden logs here. So we can pick these up and carry them over to our base. Can we stack these? No. So it's one at a time, and then we're stuck in a slowish animation, but we'll walk them over to our foundation here. Okay, we'll put our log there for now. And now once we've chopped down a log, I think we need a hacksaw. Let's just test this out. There we go. And we can craft wood planks, a saw wooden log, or lumber. So we definitely need some lumber, and we need some wooden planks. So let's craft lumber using our hacksaw. Now these do wear out, keep in mind, so you will need multiple of the hammers, axes, hacksaws, as they damage every time. You can see that indicated by the green dot on the bottom left there next to hacksaw. It'll go orange, uh, yellow, orange, and then red when it's destroyed. So let's just plop our hacksaws in with our spares in case we need them. We'll pick up our lumber, walk over, and we can just left click to attach. And if we look inside, we've got 10 lumber there inside our base. Now here's some I prepared earlier. Of course, we can also make planks by cutting up a log as well with a hacksaw. So we'll just grab our planks out of there. You can also use these lumber piles found around the map, mainly industrial or the lumber mill, to cut planks. Just simply press and hold left click with a hacksaw. Each time the circle does a full rotation, you will get three planks. There we go, nice amount of planks there, but of course, the best way is to build near trees and then use the trees as an unlimited kind of source as they do respawn after a restart. And we will drag them in there. There we go. And we also need some nails. So we'll grab 30 nails here. 
and we will drag those nails in and once that's like that we will need our hammers then and we can build wood floor base and that'll actually build the base and give you your hopefully should give you your uh, your plan back your kit so you can keep building floors um, but for now let's experiment and see what of these we can actually use to build so the sledgehammer doesn't seem to work Okay, so what else we got here? It's all spread about. We've got an axe we can build with a little with a little hatchet. Uh, let's try the bigger axe. Can't build with that. What about the fire axe? Can't build with that. Okay. So for the for the hatchet, the little small hatchet and the hammers, you can build. The little hammers don't seem to be able to build with anything else. But that's handy. Two different tools. So if you can't find one, you'll you'll probably find the other and or multiple of each. We're going to need a few. Keep an eye on our damage for building this base as well. So first, we're still green at the moment. Let's keep building our, our base and see what materials we're left with. And we're going to pick up our floor kit before it disappears under the floor. And there we go. There's our first floor done. Beautiful. And we can see what material it used by looking back inside the inventory, the materials. And it left us six lumber. So we only used four. So we can grab that back out for the next build. Now that is done, so let's pop this back over here with the rest of our storage. And then we can build a wall. So, for a wall, we want to get some more twigs out of a bush or chopping little uh, logs up and things like that. And we want to get some more sticks. And we want to look at a rope again or drag them together and combine. And we want to left-click tap to find a wall kit and then hold left-click to craft with three sticks and a rope. There we go. I think it's three sticks. That just deleted all five stack. So maybe it... I think it's three and maybe gets rid of them. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but... Sticks are easy enough to get hold of anyway by just chopping bushes up and little logs that you get. Like firewood. Actually, we can show you that. So there we go. We can split the firewood up and that should give us some more sticks. Just show you this quickly that you can get it from firewood as well. There we go. We've got three sticks again. From the firewood so we'll pick those up because we might need those in a second i want to show you as much as possible in detail on base building as i can um so we're still early days yeah so that was the hacksaw again chopping up wood that we get logs firewood and things from trees to make it super handy and where did we put our wall kit that we built there we go and then we can press the left click again once it's in our hands here we go it's in our hands so we left click and oh oh how do I oh, it won't line up uh, yeah, yeah. just tap X in expansion and it will lock snap lock snap build to the wall you want so you just look at where you want it oh let's have it there press and hold left click on your mouse and it will build the frame there we go just a little lower frame there and then we want to check what materials it wants again on the wall base materials it wants the same again nails and uh, planks and lumber we did have some lumber left there, but we'll go to another kit that I already prepared. And we have planks, 10 of, some nails. Let's go over here. And where's the wall? There it is. And then we'll plop those nails in. And we will get these lumbers that we had left from chopping up a log. And get them in the wall. And then we bring out our hammer again. And we should be able to build the base. There we go. The base of the wall here. And then we can get our wall kit back to continue using. So let's build this back wall quickly. And then see what materials we're left with. And that only took two lumber, so we've still got four lumber left. So we can build more with that one one log we chopped up, which is actually quite resourceful, actually. And trees do respawn on a restart, so wood that you need is plentiful. You just need loads of nails, so go out looting loads of nails and obviously tools, because these will degrade over time. Which one of these have I been using? Uh, I don't know, it's one of these, but it's still green, and we've built a floor and a wall. And now I'll show you how you can do different parts uh doors and windows and a hatch for stairs to go up as well as stairs so what i'll do now is which way do we want our door let's just this is just an example um 
Okay, so let's show you how to make these different wall types. Uh, we'll left click, X to snap on, and we'll build that wall there. And now we need our materials in there, so let us grab this lumber again. And more nails and some planks, so let's plop that in there, that in there. Let's get our hammer again. Build our wall base just quickly. So we have to build the wall base every time. And then make sure we get our plans back, our wall kit, which just appears on the floor in the middle. And then if we look at the base of this wall now, we will have click for next part and hold to build that part. So if we click, we've got a wall at the moment, and we've got a door frame. Then we click for a gate, which is a big double door gate for a car to come in. And then we've got windows. So let's build a door for now. So we go onto the door and then left click and hold to build the door frame. And then we can see there's a gap for our door. So we just carry on building now. There we go. There's our door. Let's say I made a mistake and I didn't want that there. Crowbar. Left and <laughs> left click and destroy with the crowbar. Now this should work with your own base inside your own territory when we get to that point. I think. I'm pretty sure. There we go. And it takes it back down to the frame. And so on. And then you can rebuild again. Okay, so that's taken it back down to the frame. But we want to keep that door for an example. So we don't want to completely destroy that. Not just yet, anyway. Now we need to go cut some more lumber from the logs <laughs> in the woods here near me. And we'll get a window made. Uh, some stairs going up. And then we should have a good time. So I catch up with you when i got some more lumber pulled up. Uh, so what we want is the floor kit again. Left click. Press X and it'll snap. So what I found is the hatch will face, so it's an elongated hatch, and what I found is it will be going across these, these beams. So you want it so it's kind of facing that way, so the hatch will be going elongated that way. So if you want your stairs to go in the door and then straight up the stairs, you want your roof to be like that. Your planks to be going left to right from your facing, and then the hatch should be going straight upstairs as you come in the door. So you enter the door, go straight up the stairs, and this should be the way. So let's get this built, and we'll choose the hatch roof. So there we go, we can build our floor base now. We've got the materials in there, nails, lumber, and planks. And bam, there's, we, got our, we got our frame there, and there's our floor kit. We'll pick up again for next time. And now, we should be able to find where we want to be. Oh, there it is. So we've got to look right on, on the uh, object there that we want to do. So we would flay. Uh, oh, there we go. And there we want the wood hatch. So it's that left click for the wood floor frame. And we want to go to the hatch frame. And then if I'm right, we should have the hatch right in the door. As we come in, we can go up the stairs once they're built. There we go. So the stairs will be going from here up there if we place the stairs the right way. So we can come in our house straight up the stairs or we can go around the stairs this way. So we'll finish off this roof and then we will try and craft some stairs. Okay, so we got one rope and a pile of sticks there. So we want to left click stairs kit and left click and hold to create our stair kit. And there we go. So now we want to try and place these. So we'll snap it with the X and that's where we want it. Right there. And don't worry, it's not vanished. Uh, well, it has, but not vanished, vanished. So we want to find our lumber. And we'll get some more of these planks in there. So then we want to put all our materials inside our stairs. There we go. That should be enough. Let's just see if we can... Oh, there it is. It's a little bit awkward because these stairs at the moment are invisible, but you can find the spot right where you put the stairs. Build staircase, hold, left click. And it gives us our stair kit back so we can build some more stairs. And then we want to build the rest of the stairs. So that's kind of like the frame for it, which is uh, really nice. So we can do the stair support now. 
will be the side rails for the actual steps to attach to. There we go. And then we want to do the actual stair treads that will allow us to go up the stairs. And you could leave it at that if you wanted to. But there is more you can craft. You can also craft a handrail. Uh, I personally like it just like this. But if you have more materials, you can do the handrail as well. Which kind of like guides you into the stairs. But I, I prefer it like this. Um, personally. But it, you know, you can, you can do as you wish with the stairs. But that's pretty much the stairs done there. And now what we'll do is upstairs. We'll make a window. So... We want to snap it there and we'll put some windows up here and then once we've got our frame up we've took our kit back off the floor we can choose again with the left click door nope gate nope and a window and we can see the frame there for the windows just like we did with the door we can see my green dot next to my hammer bottom left is uh, getting less green but that's quite a bit of base with one hammer though i mean it's it's pretty open down here if we have a look i'm missing two well but you could pretty much build a little base like this a, a one square base one by one and then you got windows you can shoot out of bing, bing, bing. people are trying to attack you make a nice tower with windows but uh to stop people getting in full stop you're gonna want a code lock so code locks can be found industrial military you can find them on cars but they are pretty hard to find but if you want full security on your base you're going to want one of these bad boys so let's pick that up and if we go to our door you'll see one of these walls that is the actual door will have an extra attachment below it so you drag your code lock onto that extra attachment which will be your door base uh, part of your wall and then we go up here next to the door so if we go and look at the code, you want to think of a really super hard code, four digits, that nobody else will get a guess. So we'll go 1111 and push. And then uh, it's locked. Uh, well, it's not locked yet. We can press F to lock it. And then you can't open it. Look, the open is gone. But if we enter code, 1111, I don't know how I guessed that. It opens. If we close it, it should automatically lock. There we go. And once you've entered it once, you just touch that and it's unlocked. You don't have to keep entering the code, you just... There we go, it's locked. Tap on the code lock, it opens for you once you've entered that code once. Uh, when you relog, you do have to enter it again, but after that, on initial uh, log login, you, you don't have to do it for the rest of the time on the server. Which is pretty nice. Of course, bases can be blown up. That code lock will only do so much. Now, if players have RPGs, or homemade explosives, or grenade launchers, or grenades... Or a lot of bullets, they can get in. And on my server, I have modified it. So it does take more explosives to get inside a base. Um, because how the default was, it seemed, seemed to be like one explosive, maybe two to get right through a base. Bullets, you could empty maybe two 60 round M4 mags and a wall would fall. And um, so I've made it so it's going to take you like six, maybe C4s, homemade explosives to get through one wall. Just to, to make the battles a bit better and a bit more cheeky. You know a bit more work to get into a base it shouldn't be so you run up and bang, bang i'm in two minutes job it shouldn't be like that it should be a, a bit of an effort to steal a, a a massive base's gear so we've done that anyway so this is all the gear that we will want to need so obviously axes for chopping down trees you can use the small hatchet for hammering the base together as well as the small hammer you want nails of course which you can find all of that at the industrial areas or normal houses sometimes you'll find hatchets axes uh, all the barns around the farmland is a good place to check in the barns. Of course, if you make a mistake, uh, we want a crowbar. And to chop logs that you've cut from a tree with an axe into lumber and planks, you want to use a hacksaw. So get plenty of those, of course, crafting our wall kit and floor kits and stair kits with a few sticks from bushes or trees, wherever you may get them from. And rope. So rope is very, very precious as well. You may have noticed on the screen, uh, you've entered and exited territory of seppi flaps let me see if i can get it to come up again there we go you have left the territory of seppi flaps and i should have entered the territory so how do you do that you may ask well let me just get some more sticks and i will show you so in expansion you can have a territory for yourself and assign it to some some friends as well as the group system so we want to just 
Just let's check if we can chop this. Oh, we don't want to dig up worms. We want to split that long stick into some small ones. And there is rags over there, if you've noticed. And that is what we need to make a territory flag. So let us just get those. And we'll walk over with these three sticks. And we can craft a torch. So we'll left click fireplace. And flag kit is what we want. So we'll hold on the flag kit. With some rags and some sticks. Boom. There we go. We got our flag kit, which is just there. And then we click and we get a flagpole up here on a, on a left click. So if we want to just place this somewhere where it look nice, we just plop it there for now, just in his, uh, as an example. And then that is crafted our flagpole, which is our territory. It's set at 80 meters radius around a base. So people, the idea of this is so people can't build a taller base over your walls than jump over your wall and raid your base. They cannot build in your territory, which is a must, really, to get this territory flag up. Of course, that will stop, like, proper griefy stuff. But obviously, you can be raided by explosives and things like that if people want to do that. That is totally, totally allowed on my server and uh, many other servers as well. If they've got PvP, it's raiding. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good to be done on here. As well as many servers, your server of choice, but you can choose a flag. And you can also fold it down by pressing F. Once you've chosen a flag, it will tell you what you want to call your territory, as uh, I've already named this territory Seppi Flaps. Um, we'll just leave it at that because I already have a territory here and I don't know if it will bug it out if I add another territory there. So we'll leave that for now. It's pretty, that one's pretty easy. Just go past the flag and then it'll say, What do you want to call your territory? Bam, enter, and then it'll change your flag to whatever you've chosen. And that territory will be yours and you'll get a notification each time you enter and exit as well as other players so if they walk into your territory and they're like they've walked you've walked into the best person on the server that's going to own you territory they'll be like oh no and walk the other way it's a it's a lot of stuff that that you need to know there if we go back to my main base on the server it's probably going to get raided after this video but here we go we can see my flagpoles on the top got the union jack up there code locks on the base Pop. And it's good to add extra layers as well uh, before people can get to your loot. So if they decide to raid, they blow open your door, they're like, oh, oh, there's no loot. And then they got to keep going. Oh, there's still no loot. Uh, where's the loot? And they got to guess. So the bigger the base and the more complex it is, the harder it is for them to raid. And then another set of stairs going up to my flagpole, which um, obviously uh, allows for our territory. Now, if we press B, we can go to our territory on our book by pressing B. And we can add other players to our territory, uh, other members. So if they're nearby, we can click them and send them an invite. They can accept. And then they are allowed to build in our territory, which is quite nice. And then I've got some just some loot here that I've been gathering uh, on my travels and coming back and just dropping some loot back in these boxes. Uh, there's my old kits from building this base, kind of GPS. Um... And I did find some batteries, actually, because I couldn't use the GPS without a battery. But I did find some. I'm not sure where I put them. Oh, there it is. There's my battery. So I'll put that in there. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Got some guns. That needs repairing, so I'll pop that in there. We've got an uh, M72 law, but I've got no RPGs or rockets for it. Some medication, water, and uh, all that good stuff just stored in our base for safety. And if somebody comes knocking that I don't expect, who are you? Get away. I didn't invite you here. And I've got a nice rocky spot here. So it's not that easy to approach. And the view is pretty nice. So <laughs> the view is pretty nice and looks at debug. <laughs> oh, God. But I hope that helps you, ladies and gentlemen, quite a bit with base building on expansion mod. You should be able to build a nice base there now on the server. Find a nice spot and get it built. I'm going to have to remove all of this stuff now. Um, because it may be a bit of an eyesore and people will notice it more than my actual base. And... Yeah, remove all of this extra stuff that's laid about. But that's pretty much it, guys. If there's anything else, ladies and gentlemen, that you would like to see a guide on with expansion mod, how-to, all that good stuff, let me know. But, uh, you know, let's have a little bit of fun before we just finish this off. I really hope this timer on the first one doesn't go off before I get back. I think that's five homemade explosives. Oh, 
Oh, that was 4C4, actually. If I can count. Still better than one, though, eh? So there you go. All the other walls aren't damaged, so it will take four ish for each wall to get into loot so make sure you've got plenty of walls between your loot and their entrance points the outer walls preferably you know you've got many walls to go through indoors and it's well hidden there we go that is that ladies and gentlemen happy building happy raiding stay safe out there i love you all and i'll see you peeps next time <laughs>